So we're on A33 Cat. Hey, we've got a great casting, casting platform, platform too. Just like Invincible Fashion, you guys are going to see the lounge chair in nice. rough seas, having stuff closer to you when you're trying to get into a hatch. It's kind of nice. It's a great spot for tackle and storage. <laughs> it's weird feeling, isn't it? If you ever get a boat that flies, be mindful. We've got a really nice day out and let's go. Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode. Are we are going to be giving you guys a boat tour and a sea trial experience on the 33 Invincible Cat. Now you may have seen parts and pieces of this boat from some of our boat show videos, but this boat has never been given a designated episode. So that's what today is for. My name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. So this boat is a catamaran. So the first thing you're gonna notice, even just walking up to it from the dock, is how wide it is and big it is. That was the first thing I said. I like, yes, wow. let me turn yes. around and show you guys. So we're on A33 Cat. So from left side to right side, I will get the actual beam dimensions for you guys so I can have that pop up. But this is a wide boat. For a 33, basically, you're getting as much space as you possibly can. There's Kona, say hi, Kona. Hi, Goni. <laughs> An awesome benefit to a catamaran is the extra space you get at the bow. So we have our anchor locker, which is pretty typical. And if this were not a catamaran, the only storage you would have up here would probably be an anchor locker. But because this is not a mono hole, but a catamaran, we're going yep. to have extra storage on the port and starboard sides. So, so in here we just got some life jackets. jackets and then go ahead and open this one up. And we do have some storage here with some fenders and dock lines and some, I think that's like a shore power cord yeah. as well. So we're gonna get some extra storage on the bow. We also have, maybe it's slick calm and you're casting at Mahi. We've got a great casting, casting platform, platform too, which exactly. we have done that before. We were actually sight fishing for permit in Isla Mirada. Yes, we were on a cat sight fishing for permit. We were standing on it, casting, it was really cool. So it's a nice benefit to a catamaran. Just like Invincible Fashion, you guys are going to see the lounge chair, but it also turns into a coffin box. And they have there this it feature. Is. Yes. So we have our coffin box with some dividers. You could do maybe, I don't know, snappers in one divider. I don't know, schoolie mahi in another. <laughs> And, and then I like to call this one the sandwich this tray. This is the sandwich tray. So anything that you don't want soggy, you can put ice on the bottom and then put maybe your sandwiches or anything that you want to stay cold but not wet can go right there. Or you get rid of the dividers and put a swordfish in here. Yeah, or I you just know. get rid of them all together and then you have a giant fish box. Something else you will notice is that the storage on the port and starboard sides of the boat is gonna be very deep. Let's just get a visual. So we're about knee deep and we're up at the bow. So this is going to be of the deep sides, of the deep storage boxes. This is gonna be the smaller ones. They're gonna get even deeper when we go a little bit Yeah, so we've got one here and one here. And basically as we make our way towards the back, you'll notice all of the hatches are deep on the sides of the boat as opposed to the center because this is a catamaran. Are you ready to see an even deeper hatch, Amanda? Yeah, go ahead. All so right. this is the midship hatch. So yep. go ahead and stand in there. So now, All right, so now we're like like mid thigh. Mid thigh. Okay, Could you so imagine? Can you, and can you sit down there? Yeah. Oh, I yes. Kind of wet. And and stretch your legs out. <laughs> I'm gonna get wet. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you don't have to get wet. <laughs> All right. Okay, but the whole point is you how the vision. you could fit rods in there, right? Definitely. Maybe like a deck brush. You could definitely supplies. fit a deck brush down here, some yeah, landing down nets. You. But <laughs> very, very deep hatches on port and starboard sides. You won't get that in a mono hole because what we're standing in right now is where the hole of the boat is. Exactly. So if you have a deep hatch on a mono hole, it's going to be in the center of the boat, not the port and starboard side. Right. So you do get the console space on a mono hole. So why don't we show you the console next on this cat? And I'll also just show you right here while Emily gets out. We have plenty of rod holders on the console, some cup holders by the lounge seating, along with more rod holders. And coming around the bow, rod holders 
cup holders, rod holders, basically everything you could need to go fishing. Here is the console and you guys can see how, I guess you could say shallow it is. And we do actually have room to climb in there. Definitely. Just climb on over our bags. Yeah, so, so we have our bags there, our lunchbox, our drone, et cetera, our camera gear. But do us a favor so that just we can get a visual. Put your hands on the ceiling. There well, we go. Yeah, but I'm so, sitting on the I'm sitting on the head too. <laughs> so this is the console space you're gonna get on a cat. This is pretty typical for a cat. But something that I will say that was nice, that I found was nice about having the more shallow console space was I went to get my bag and it was like right here. Now, if we were in a mono hole, this part, this console would be very deep and tall. I'd be able to stand up, put my hand all the way above my head and it'd be a lot of space. But if you want to go get your bag or something, you got to like walk down into it and like Right. Actually, so make a on big this effort. boat, instead of a instead of a deep console, we get plenty of deep hatches right. on the port and, and starboard in side. In rough seas, having stuff closer to you when you're trying to get into a hatch is kind of nice. So I kind of like that about the console space. At the helm station, we have a nice bench seat, but it has some grooves in it, so each person gets an individual seat. But if you want to squish, you can. You'll have to excuse the dog prints and the, the Kona hair. It it's her is favorite also spot big to enough for Kona to lay down. Yes, it's big enough for her to lay down, that's for sure. We also do have, once again, plenty of rod holders and cup holders behind the helm seat. And coming back to the, I guess, is this the transom seat? This is like the other, the backwards facing helm seat. I know there is a proper <laughs> name for it. But just like pretty much, well, I think, I believe all Invincibles have this. We have tackle storage right here. And this is, you'll see this on all of our Invincible boat tour videos. It's a great spot for tackle and storage. So we've got our tackle boxes. We've got some deep drawers. Maybe I like to use the drawers for sinkers, here. yes. And you kind of have like a whole tackle station. And this is true for the mono holes. But the wait, cats. Amanda, yes. leave it open. Yes. Let's pretend we're on anchor fishing for yellowtails. Well, so you're fishing on anchor for back. yellowtails. Maybe I would like have this one open. Maybe I would do this. Yes. And then I'd have like my pliers and scissors there. Right. So, so you're fishing. Probably, turn, really around, turn around. You're fishing. You got bit off. I got bit off. So you I got to get another get hook. My hook. So I'll just come over here. <laughs> got my box already. Grab whatever I need. Rig. rig and then and I'm back to back. fishing. So we got like a cool little tackle station right here, which I love having this. This would be like, a, this is a great touch to have. And this seat, there's also a cooler underneath it. So I will go ahead and show you that now. All right, so under here, we've got plenty of cooler space. Maybe you want waters, maybe you want adult beverages, whatever you want to do with it. Tons of space here as well. So we do have a lot of seating on this boat and it's a hardcore fishing boat because we've got a great bench seat back here, a great bench seat up there. We do have the forward lounge seating, but it's loaded with rod holders and we have a great live well too, a nice big live big well right well. here. We can go ahead and open this up. Let's check out the well. There we go. So there's the live well. But now let's take a minute since this is a catamaran. I do want to show you the bilge of the catamaran because we essentially we have two bilges. So right now you are looking in the port bilge because it's a catamaran. Or for those of you that don't know, the left side when you're facing the helm. Yes, or facing the bow. This is the left side bilge. And You've got two, you've got a bilge pump on this side, you're gonna have a bilge pump on the other side, and they're pretty much gonna be very similar. All right, this hatch I'm standing on right now is that port side bilge that you were looking inside of. And if we walk across to the starboard side, this is the second hatch because we have H U L L two holes. Because two holes equals two bilges. And now you are looking at the starboard bilge. So structurally it's identical, but this bilge is gonna have the plumbing for our live wells. It looks like it also has the plumbing for our head. So there are gonna be some differences, but for the most part, the two bilges are very similar. Another great way to see that we are looking at a catamaran is the engines. There's a hole separated. in the middle. They're separated. <laughs> so we so. have one engine per hole, basically one on either side, which is also why there's actually this step right here. If you can see that, can yep. you see that Emily? So we got a step right here if you did wanna go diving or swimming. We also do have like a tuna or, door. Or you're yes. pulling a big fish in the boat, you gotta step back there. Exactly, whatever it is, you maybe you gotta bring him through the, through the, the tuna door or the swordfish door, whatever species it is. Whatever species you it want that door to be. Though. It is called a tuna door. It is a tuna door. But maybe you caught a swordfish, you can call it the swordfish Exactly, and actually <laughs> come back here. I just saw this, I never, I didn't even see that earlier. We've got some rod holders nice. um, back in this door and same thing on the other side, we do have more rod holders. So I think that's actually a really nice touch that doesn't, I don't feel like I see that every single day. But now let's look at the floor well. So we have a second well right here. This is right. Our floor so remember the first well. one back at the transom, and the second one is in 
the floor. It is floor. in the starboard hole of the boat. So some people believe that their baits are gonna get seasick in a floor well, at least if it doesn't have the clear top, which you can get if you wanted to. Some fishermen, like fishermen, I would say like maybe the tournament guys. Or like the, the superstitious people. <laughs> yes, they believe that their baits are gonna get seasick if they don't know where the sky is. So this well has a clear top and the baits won't get seasick. Personally, do I think baits are gonna get seasick? Maybe if it's like a super sensitive bait, like Ballyhoo or something. But if it's like pin a pinfish, I wouldn't worry about, it. worry about it. This boat does not have a tower on it, but if you wanted to, you could definitely add one. I personally would love to add one if it were my boat, but it is not. We are just getting to run it today with Invincible. So I think it's time to do a sea trial because we haven't done a lot of sea trials on the Invincibles other than the 39. Well, actually, we had done quite a few, but we've only filmed yeah one sea trial on the 39 invincible so we're gonna film a sea trial right now we're gonna sea trial there's 33 see how cats. fast it so goes. i think this is the first sea trial of a cat that we have filmed you're right amanda so we're gonna see how fast it goes we're gonna see how it feels when it turns because they do turn differently it's gonna be a different feeling um for people that are on a cat for the first time it's just like really kind of weird, weird feeling. feeling but at the same time it's a very stable feeling it is time for the sea trial on this beautiful 33 invincible catamaran so we have some light bay chop and we're about a half a tank of fuel so with that being said the speed it goes and the way it rides will vary from one condition to the next but i am really excited because we're on a catamaran guys we don't have one hole we're not on a mono hole so it's going to ride differently one thing that i've heard is that it takes some adjustment getting used to the way a catamaran rides when you make turns one hole will be deeper in the water than the other. So instead of turning like like this, you'll turn like this. Does that make sense? It's definitely gonna be a different feel, but I'm excited. You guys ready? Let's go. So you guys can kind of see the light bay chop we have today. So we can see how fast we go. In today's conditions, we've got like around 15 knots of wind, some light bay chop, like Emily said, about a half tank of gas. And we have twin Mercury Verados. These are 400s. And I'm just kind of excited to get going. I don't and think we mentioned, yes. Amanda, that this boat has autopilot. Yep, it also so has it's currently, autopilot. It's currently an autopilot. I put us into the seas so that we weren't rocking sideways and I could do my, in, my talking intro to you guys for the sea trial. So it's kind of nice, got to do that. Normally we're like multitasking. <laughs> yeah, a little less multitasking going yeah. on today. Just paying attention, obviously looking for any debris in front of us, but we've got a really nice day out and let's go. Are we ready? Here we go. driving on the highway and you're driving 60. That's highway that's, speed. That's highway speed. Now we had some light chop, we have half a tank of gas, so I'm very confident this boat could go over 60, no problem. I trimmed up on the motors to get as much boat out of the water, so the less boat that's in the water, the less resistance you have of the boat in the water, so it goes faster. Now obviously going 57 miles per hour is awesome, it's a lot of fun. Well, we have very minimal chop and I'm in an open area, so be very careful guys if you, if you ever get a boat that flies, be mindful. Don't go, don't go all out all the time. There's a time and a place for it. I feel like I just had to say that. Yeah. It's time for some turns. I'm gonna get on plane. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn going 60 miles per hour, but let's feel what these turns feel like, shall we? All right. 26 miles per hour. I'll make a turn to the right.
Okay, Amanda, as a passenger, how did that feel? I would say it was very smooth. So it's definitely weird. I'm not 100% used to cats yet. Being on two holds is a totally different feeling. Like you were saying earlier, instead of the boat just like tilting on one side, it's almost like the whole thing the just like glides. It's very smooth though, very stable. You're not like rocking or anything crazy, obviously. Right. It's very like, it's just a very calm ride, but I'm just not used to it. The weight distribution is different. But it's actually really nice. I feel like it handles in rough seas really well. We actually did go out to the ocean earlier today and it was, well, it's actually blowing 15, 20. So there's some seas out there. We weren't able to bring out the cameras or the drone for that part because of how rough it is. But it is a very smooth ride, I will say. We were going like 40 miles per hour in the ocean, in seas, into the seas. And we were just like, we'd go over a wave and just like glide down. It was very nice. Something else unique about when you're driving a cat is specifically docking. So obviously we're not at a dock right now, but maybe not even docking, but spinning the boat on a dime. So the further apart the engines are, if you put one engine in forward and one in reverse, so I'll do one forward, one reverse, the boat will spin in a circle. But because they're further apart, it will spin in an even more perfect, tighter circle. When you have engines really close together, it's harder to get that perfect circle. But look, we're spinning in a circle. We hope you guys enjoyed coming with us on this 33 Invincible Catamaran boat tour and sea trial. We had a lot of fun. That was the first time I've really gotten to play around from behind the helm on a catamaran. So that was cool. It was fun, unique. I'm a fan. I kind of like it. In the meantime, guys, before our next video comes out, we hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.